So let's take a look at some cases here for the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8, but these also work on the S7 series. I believe it's exactly the same dimensions and so on. But the protective standing cover here is the one I'm actually most interested in because this one doesn't have any protection on the front, but it's a very rugged case on the back and on the side. And the pen there, the S Pen on the back is nicely protected so it doesn't fall out as easily as it does right now. And also it has a kickstand with a variable angle so you can kind of set it up exactly the angle you want. So you will not protect the front of your tablet, but in reality we really need to protect the front. Of course you can always put a screen protector on there. But anyways, that's one of the cases I want to try out. And the other one here is the, can you remember the name? But that actually came out for the S7. Also said S7 5G there, or S7, S7 5G. So like I said, you can use this on the S8 as well. Both these covers cost pretty much exactly the same here in my country at least, which is about 50% of MSRP. So very inexpensively, these cases here actually, especially compared to like what Apple is charging for their cases. But this one, of course, have a protection on the front and on the back as well. It's a very slim case. It's held on by magnets on the back. So also curious to try that one out and also have a little room for the S Pen inside the case here as well. And of course, a cutout there on the back. Even though I will get the slim keyboard included with my S8, some of those campaigns they are running. But that keyboard case will not be shipped to me for another month or so, or more than a month away. That's kind of a little unfortunate that Samsung doesn't include it right out of the bat, that you have to go into the app, that's member, the, the members app on the tablet, and you have to register the tablet, and then they will have to ship it within 40 days after that. So I kind of want to protect my tablet until that case arrives. So let's just try this cover here first, the book cover, and then the, try the protective standing cover afterwards. So of course, this one is nicely presented here in this box, so you can kind of see what you get. And a little bit of information here on the back is made in Vietnam. And this one is made in December 2021. And I'm recording this on May 2022. So yeah, still one and a half year ago since this was, this was made here. Or at least one year and four months. But anyways, not really much to it. There's a little tab there you can actually pull. Let's do that and remove the case. Just like so. Very easy to get into this box there or packaging and right off the bat this is definitely very thin that's kind of impressive i like this soft touch feel not quite leather feel does feel a little plasticky though but yeah it also smells a little plasticky kind of curious to try this one out because it's so slim because it's held by on by magnet on the back so there's no real protection on the sides or on the top only the protection here is on the bottom and this is of course also where you have room for the s pen which is magnetically held in place in here, which is a nice little added bonus. Inside, we do get a little quick start guide or install instructions, I guess. Oh, not really. You kind of make sure that it is properly aligned on the back side there. So make sure that the camera is fully protruding on the back. That's pretty much all instructions that's included here. Let's get rid of that. And inside the case here, you also have a little bit soft touch feel does feel a little cheap, like I would have preferred if we could get some of these cases in leather or something like very nice material, but definitely can't complain with the price point they are selling this at. But yeah, of course, magnetically held in place here in the top and in the bottom as well. You have room for the S Pen here. Let's just try that out already. Yeah, nicely magnetically held in place. And it doesn't really matter which way you're turning it. And let's just see if we can actually shake the case. And yeah, the pen is still firmly attached so nice that it is so secure in there and of course once you fold the case over it will be even more secure squeezed in there between the tablet and the case I really like that because it's nice to have the s pen included but when you have it on the top on this on the tablet here it is not really that comfortable to hold it like this and when it's on the back i'm constantly forgetting is on the back and it yeah i find it all over the place like in the couch and so on when i'm just browsing and so on i forget it's there and it will just fall off and like i said i will find it in random places on the bottom side of the case here we do have two spots here where there is magnets so you kind of have two different angles there i guess you could also probably adjust it above or below those angles but it won't be as secure as of course with magnets here and there's also magnets actually holding the case open actually starting to like this case a little bit so slim and nice 
feel in the hand and you can kind of see there the two angles are also illustrated with two icons there so yeah let's try and actually mount the tap s8 into this case i always wipe my devices down whenever i'm switching cases just because i don't want any kind of dust or debris or anything in between the case and the tablet or smartphone or whatever i am mounting inside a case so it won't scratch hopefully the device so yeah let me just do that and let's mount it afterwards and then there's not really much to it just line it up with the case there make sure like on the photos that the cameras or the little manual there that the camera is perfectly <laughs> aligned inside the little notch there and yeah the camera is not protruding anymore so that will of course protect it a little bit which is kind of nice and also if you put it on a flat surface it won't wobble anymore and actually really like this case at least my first impressions here because it's very slim in hand you only really have those two sides unlike my previous case from my ipad that i actually have here pretty common cheap chinese case where you have a thick back plate a thick rubber on the back and also a rather thick lid on the top and that actually makes it like pretty comfortable to hold but also a little bit thicker but this one here of course adds a little bit of thickness to the tablet but not really that much and of course it does make the tablet a little bit taller at least in the long aspect ratio because you have room for the s pen down here let's just try and plug that one in actually and yeah of course the screen will turn on when you are opening the lid of the cover so of course it will turn on if you open it turn off if you close the lid and let's just try and actually prompt it up here on one of the angles so yeah magnetically held in place very very sturdy actually and the second angle there very sturdy as well kind of surprised me a little bit very nice strong magnets there and you can kind of angle it up in between there but i'm not really sure it will be the best yeah definitely best just to angle up there where the magnets is and yeah you can see here it does take a little bit of room on the back as well of course need to accommodate for that and once you have it in this orientation here it's not really that easy to get into the s-pen you have to kind of open it up again to get in there and get your s-pen and yeah it's not really the easiest thing you could kind of go in on the sides here and remove the s-pen uh, i think i have two big hands to actually do so so yeah you need to prop it up or of course just remove your s-pen once you actually open the cover if you want to use it before you actually uh, tap it up or open it up to one of the angles here so yeah first of the bat i really like this case here also magnetically held in place here in the bottom section so you kind of had to break those magnets to prompt it up at an angle here but doesn't really matter at all because it's nicely and flushed when you're of course using your tablet and there's also magnets holding the lid in place here so when you have it like so one thing though I don't like right off the bat not that bad actually but you of course have a big chin here when you hold the tablet upright which I do pretty often and a lot of apps that are not optimized for tablet use you can kind of use in this orientation and they will look or fill out the entire screen like reddit for instance you kind of have to use in this orientation here so what is a portrait orientation so you have kind of a lip over here and yeah you could accidentally bump up the bump off the pen and of course the pen is not charging when it's actually sitting here this is just for transporting of course you can still put the pen here on the back for when you want to charge so that's kind of nice but it will kind of stick out so if you put it in it's inside a bag or if you just carry it around like this it could potentially fall off it is on there pretty securely but like i said i have found my pen various places because it keeps falling off i kind of forget it's there because you can't see it really when it's on the back and you use your tablet you put it on the couch or the table and so on and all of a sudden it will fall off it's a little better protected here because it doesn't swipe off or remove itself from side to side if that makes sense because there's a little lip now because it rests on glass glass is of course very slippery so that's why it tends to kind of fall off if you kind of push it either direction because it's inside a case now slide off as easily as of course if it was not in the case so yeah first impressions i really like this case one thing i don't like right off the bat is of course you have that lip there on the side or chin here on the side when you're carrying like this but actually not as bad and you have a nice place here to rest your thumb and also when the pin is inside here you actually still have something to rest on so you won't constantly or the pin won't fall off constantly when you are just holding it like this so yeah 
Definitely pretty nice, but let's move on. Let's try the second case, which was actually the one I was most interested in trying. And this is of course the protective standing cover. It doesn't have any protection on the front, like I said, and it does have a very rugged design and does have a little bit of a grip on your pin, so it does, wasn't fall, won't fall out as easily. Of course, it will make your tablet look a little bigger. That's pretty much what you can get in the case there, because this is a more of a rocket case, but I feel like this is also protecting your tablet a little bit better, so should be able to handle maybe a few drops from not too high, and also it will protect all the way around the tablet. So let's just have a look first, actually, what we get in the box. So again, you need to make sure you have aligned the camera correctly. This is a little bit easier with this one here because I don't believe it's held in by magnets. So I have to squeeze it in there. So this one say, oh, in the instructions here, you should kind of squeeze it in from the side. And other than that, you just get a lot of cardboarding. A lot of, a lot of cardboard, which is a little unfortunate. But yeah, like I said, we do have protection all the way around here, cut out for microphone, volume rocker, and of course a big cutout here for the fingerprint sensor slash power button. And that also makes it much easier to actually find that button when you want to use it, because you can kind of feel the little groove there. Of course, cut out for speakers, for microphone there again, nothing really on the bottom here. And the other side there, cut out for speakers and a big cutout for USB Type-C cable. And very rugged on the back, rubberized all the way around, thick rubber. And that nice cutout here for the S Pen. So it should hopefully stay better in place if you put the tablet down because it will rest on this part here. And of course, the S Pen will be squeezed in between there. And then you have that variable angle back plate here, which is something I am very curious to try out. So you can actually pretty much set it up exactly the angle you want. Like this one here is fantastic if you want to use the S Pen for drawing or note taking. And of course, for content watching, prop it up a little higher like so. Definitely feels very sturdy, this hinge. Of course, it will probably break in a little bit in time or with time, but pretty big hinges there on the other side as well. Does feel like you're bending the entire case a little bit, but I believe, or I suspect once the tablet is inside this case, it will probably be a little more rigid. And this is of course just plastic, so does have a little bit soft touch to it, which is kind of nice and also will act a little bit like a rubber stopper there when you have it on the side of the table, I believe. So it won't slide around as easily and of course rubber here at the bottom as well. On the inside, we do have nicely protection of your tablet as well, this honeycomb layout, but it feels almost like it is some kind of hard plastic actually. doesn't feel rubberized or silicone rice or anything like that and of course nicely protection all the way around there nice bumper so you kind of put the tablet face down and shouldn't really touch the surface and i really like this case even though you have the whole entire screen exposed i'm curious to try that out because it's not like i put my tablet in a bag with keys and other metal objects i do take pretty good care of my my stuff and i can of course just turn it inside out there and leave the backside more exposed towards the outside of the case. So if I'm bumping into things, this will kind of take the, the hit. And I don't really like screen protectors, but could probably just put a screen protector on there. But also if you have a design like this one here, where you kind of squeeze the lid into your screen, if you have any kind of debris on this part, you can see already there, probably just some soft stuff. But if there's a stone or a little metal object actually, on this surface here and you squeeze it in towards your tablet and put it in your bag and you will kind of rub a little bit up and down once you're moving it can kind of also scratch your screen so nicely protection when you don't have any kind of debris in there that can potentially scratch up your screen and this one here you do get a very firm grip kind of like that at least initially but of course i have to test it out before I can actually give my full verdict. But anyways, let's just try and actually mount the tablet inside this case here. I'll just try and follow the instructions here. And I just squeeze in this side first and let's squeeze this side here in place. And yeah, that seems to do the trick. It's pretty easy to get in there like so. Yeah, so very easy to install actually. You do have a nice cutout here for your fingerprint sensor and it does still work just fine actually feels like you're pushed a little bit, a little bit outward with your finger because there's a like big notch right there so 
it does take a little getting used to, but definitely you also feel more easily where the fingerprint scanner actually is. And let's just have a look around the tablet here. Like I said, again, nice cutout here for the fingerprint sensor, so you definitely feel where it is right now. can be a little hard actually to feel it when you don't have any kind of protection on there. Of course, volume rocker, a little stiff, but definitely feels very good. Cut out there for the microphone hole, right side here. Of course, cut out for speakers and for the USB Type-C and a big cutout for USB Type-C, so should accommodate for those like bigger plugs from Samsung and other manufacturers as well, just fine. Should be able to use bigger plugs as well. Nothing really on the bottom there. And of course, on the left side here, cut out for speakers and for the microphone. And yeah, right out the bat, I really like having that extra protection or extra grip on there, the rubber on the side. Not as aggressive as on my S21 Ultra. I don't have that anymore, so I can't really show you the case, but it was very aggressive, the protective standing case on that cover, on that phone, around the edges. It wasn't really all that comfortable holding in your hand, but this one here is a little smoother all the way around and still adds a little bit of grip to the tablet. I really like that as well. Let's just try actually to mount the S Pen. I believe you can just squeeze it in. Yeah, actually, no problem at all. And it, of course, protrudes a little bit on the back here. Let's see if it actually will wobble when it's on the table. And there is a minor wobble there if you're kind of using a lot of force in these two corners there, but else, not bad at all. And it is nicely protected in there, so it won't fall out accidentally, actually. Or maybe if you drop the tablet, it could fall out, but other than that, should be good to go. And it should be pretty easy to get it out as well. Not really super easy, but easy enough. Yeah, kind of get used to that, I think. And you can also kind of squeeze it in like so, if you prefer it that way. And of course, we do have the perfect cutout here for the camera as well. I don't really use the camera on my tablet all that much, but it is definitely nice to have. And then, of course, we do have that nice stand there. Definitely do feel a little bit better when it's installed inside the case here. Because the case or the tablet itself does give a little bit of rigidity to the overall case here. So it doesn't flex as much. Oh, it feels very nice. I really like that closing sound there. It's like there is actually magnets inside here, pulling those two together. Very satisfying. And of course, if you want to watch some content, you have a nice angle to do so. If you want to write on your tablet or whatever, you have a better angle to do so. And you can, you know, prompt it up anything in between those two, which is excellent and really something I like a lot. I don't feel like it's completely perfect up here. Feels like it's bulging out a little bit. I'm not sure if that will go away with time. Probably need to use it a little bit so it will kind of force itself down there. But that's really also the only complaint I have about this one here. So definitely feel like this will be on my tablet for the foreseeable future. Maybe I'll switch between the two here. And also when I get the slim keyboard cover, of course, I will try that one out. Not really too much into typing on my tablet. So I'm not that interested in the keyboard cover, but since I got it included for free, of course, I will try it out and of course, keep it around. Could be kind of useful. But definitely one thing I noticed with this case, it does definitely make a tablet kind of bit, a little bit heavier. So definitely not a light case at all. And that's probably the biggest adjustment there coming from just carrying the tablet raw without any case on there. This one is definitely a much lighter case. You can see here there's a protection all the way around the screen. So you can also put it face down on a flat surface without actually the screen touching that surface. So that's kind of nice. After a few weeks, the free keyboard cover here did arrive. So let's just have a look at that. You can see here, book cover keyboard slim. It is of course the same you get for the S7 and S7 5G because the S8 is just the exact same footprint and design and so on. So you can use the same accessories, which is kind of nice. Anti-microbial coating. I'm not really sure what that really means, but let me know down in the comments if you can lecture me on that. Of course, on the back here, you can kind of see how you can use this cover. You only really have one position, which is a little bit unfortunate with this cover here, but on the positive note, this is also taking up a little bit less real estate on the table uh, compared to some of the other covers. And this is of course the Nordic version because I live in Scandinavia. 
So the layout will be a little bit different here. A simple packaging. This is yeah, the packaging they used on the S7 generation, I believe. In the S8 generation, they went over to like a cardboard design, so we don't have this plastic on the front. But anyways, there's a little arrow down here. So let's just get into this packaging. You should not use a knife to get into this. Just kind of peel it off like so. Just peel it off properly. And then we're inside. So very easy to get inside this packaging. And let's just remove the keyboard from this packaging and have a closer look at the keyboard case. Actually, not really all that heavy when I feel it right now. Actually, the protective case may be even heavier than the entire keyboard case there. So yeah, we'll definitely get into that. Trying uh, to weigh both of them. And inside we do have a little cardboard here. I feel like this is a lot of wasted stuff, a lot of wasted paper, just getting a keyboard case. But yeah, very easy installation. This is magnetically held in place. So you only really need to put the tablet on top of this cover here and it should be held in place. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the quick start instruction guide there. And yeah, this is the whole case, of course. This is the back side of the case where you will attach the tablet. You still have a cutout here for camera and S Pen. And you can carry the S Pen inside here, which is still magnetically held in place. Let's just try that actually. See very strong magnets. Let's see if we can actually force that out of the case. You can see I am shaking pretty hard and the S Pen definitely stays in place. So that's kind of nice. It feels like it's better held in place like this. So with the tip on the left side here. So I really like the system as well, but it does also add a little bit of width to the actual case and tablet when you're carrying it around. Not much though, but nice that the pen is well protected in here. And then of course we have the keyboard, which is the main advantage of course with a case like this. And let's just try and type on this keyboard. Actually not bad, kind of like the feel of the keys, a little bit soft touch and a pretty good actual travel on such a flat keyboard and also have a little bit of a snappy feel when I type on them, so yeah, I definitely do not dislike them. I do dislike the fact that it's a small enter key, here in Scandinavia we're used to like big enter keys, that's just a minor thing because this is also a very small tablet, so it's a very cramped keyboard, so of course they could not have room for everything and of course this does not have any kind of backlight. I believe only the book cover keyboard for the S8 Ultra does have backlighting, which is a little unfortunate. Would have been nice to have those backlight lit keys, but not really sure it would be an issue because the screen would be very close to the keys. So maybe at night it will kind of shine a little bit light down towards the key keys when I use it. And of course, we do not have any kind of trackpad on this keyboard here. That's a little bit unfortunate, of course, if you want to use Dex or something like that. But considering this is touchscreen, it shouldn't really be that much of an issue. Then, of course, we have the contact points here that will get in contact with the bottom of the tablet. So for data, unfortunately, there is no charging in this keyboard cover here, like on Apple keyboards, where you can actually charge the tablet through the keyboard. It would have been nice to have a, like a separate, maybe USB Type-C plug on the edges here or on the side here. So you could just charge the tablet and still use the USB-C on the tablet itself for data and charging. But again, as a minor thing, do have some rubber protectors here that will kind of rest on the tablet, so protect it a little bit from scratches. It's a very slim profile keyboard here. You can see from the side, so it doesn't really add that much bulk to the tablet. And then all you really need to do is just align it with the backside here. And the magnet should just pull it in place like so. You can see here on the backside, make sure that the camera is aligned inside here and it should hold the tablet nicely in place. Now, yeah, definitely does add a little bit of weight to the tablet. And you can see it doesn't really add that much bulk to the tablet and actually kind of feels nice when you have this on your tablet. Like the whole feel of this case here does have a little bit of a soft touch feel. Not quite leather, but still feels pretty close to leather, or at least synthetic leather. So on the back side here, of course, you do have cut out for the S Pen and of course for the cameras as well. A little bit of Samsung brand in there up in the corner. And you can, of course, charge your S Pen still, of course, putting it on the back side here, but not really the best place to mount it for transporting, so it should just mount it on inside whenever you are kind of transporting your S Pen or your tablet here. Nicely protected in the bottom, but of course there is no protection on the sides, uh, on the top or on the other side as well. So those areas of course is exposed, 
which is a little bit unfortunate, but if you take pretty good care of your devices, shouldn't really be an issue, like scratches here and there, shouldn't really affect the way you are using the tablet, or shouldn't really affect the function of the tablet, rather. And if you want to use the keyboard, you just kind of click it into place here. So only one angle, that's a little bit unfortunate. I guess that's a limitation of the kind of keyboard, like this one here. So yeah, definitely it is a little too steep of an angle for me, in this specific position I'm sitting at right now, of course sitting at my desk, I would probably like to have it somewhere, uh, maybe around there or something like that, for the position I'm in right now. It's not unusable, but it makes me feel like I have to cramp down a little bit to see the screen. But of course it is a nice screen, so pretty good viewing angles shouldn't really affect too much. And doesn't really take out that much real estate, like set on the table, unlike the like book cover keyboard case that they also make, which have a kickstand and full trackpad, does take out a lot of space on your desk. So this one doesn't really take out as much space on the desk. I really like that. And I kind of like having the keyboard there. Definitely looks nice and pretty easy to open and close. And of course it will uh, wake the tablet once you open the keyboard pretty fast. So all you really need to do, if you want to get working, just fold it down and click it in place there. And of course, log into your tablet and you're pretty much ready to go. But yeah, definitely do not dislike this keyboard here. Not really sure I would have bought it had it not been included for free. I would probably just rather get a standalone Bluetooth keyboard. You can get those very inexpensively for Logitech and also Samsung make their own keyboard. They kind of made that to use with their tablet. So you can just have a small keyboard in your bag and you can just use whatever ever case you want with your device and you can kind of just use the keyboard if you want to use it. You don't have to have the keyboard permanently attached to your tablet. Kind of don't use keyboard as much anymore, pretty much just for typing URLs and I find the on-screen keyboard to be fine enough for that. But I definitely also believe that this makes it a little more lab friendly. So you can use a little more as a laptop because you have all this space here all this surface area here resting on your legs so it should definitely be better to just use as a laptop on your lap that definitely helps out in certain situa situations if you want to use it like set in a lab or in your couch or on your bed at night that you have a little a little more surface area a little more rigidity here because the kickstand there doesn't really have that much surface area it's only really these two points here so you don't have that like clamshell design as a laptop to kind of take the weight. So I feel like this one is actually a better solution if you want a laptop replacement, not only for the keyboard, but also because it's a little more rigid when you actually put it up on more uneven surfaces. So let's try and write on oh, this keyboard. Actually, it feels kind of nice. Actually, it kind of surprised me a little bit. I definitely can type much faster with the physical keys versus the on-screen keyboard. But like I said, I don't really write that much on my tablet computers, mostly just URLs, quick notes, and search results or, or search for something online or on YouTube and so on. So I definitely do not need a keyboard, but yeah, it's a nice thing to have. And I can travel kind of light with this one here. But yeah, definitely do like it, but I'm not really sure I would pay uh, the kind of money that Samsung wanted to, to pay for this, at least not retail. Sometimes they do go on sale on Samsung right now. You can get them like 50% off, but I'm not really sure I would pay that even for a keyboard like this. For me personally, because like I said, I don't use a keyboard that often, but since it's included for free, I'm definitely going to keep it on for now. I'm not really sure if I'm going to keep it on in the long term, but I'm going to try it out and see how well it actually works for my use case. Maybe it will force me a little bit to use this one more as my laptop replacement. Definitely can do so now. So to conclude, it is definitely a nice keyboard. If I hadn't got it for free, included for a tablet, personally, I would not go and get it. And let's just take a look at the weight of these covers here. First off, the protective cover from Samsung. Let's try and see how much the tablet weighs, including the covers. So we're up at around 790 grams. So definitely adds a little bit of weight with this cover here. So let's just throw it on the scale there. So 791.5 grams, so just shy of 800 grams. So that definitely does add a little bit of weight, but considering this also had a 
full-size keyboard. Just measure the keyboard alone. We are looking at 282 grams. So that's actually pretty light for a keyboard like this. Let's actually try and just measure the protective case, which is kind of a heavy case. You can see you're just 10 grams lighter. So pretty much the same feel when you actually have this protective case on there. And of course, this one doesn't have a keyboard built in and doesn't protect the front of the tablet as well. And the tablet here without any covers, let's see how much it actually weighs. So we are looking at around 509 grams, uh, 510 grams. That's excluding the pen or the S pen. Let's just see how much that actually adds. And yeah, that definitely adds a few grams. So we're up to around 517 uh, and a half gram here, including the pen. So the pen does add around eight grams, which isn't really that much. And that's pretty much all I have for this video here. Of course, you can find affiliate link down in the description below if you are interested in either of these cases here. But that's it for this one. I hope to see you again in a future one. Until then, take care. Mm -hmm.